kill count where we tell the up all the victims in all our favorite horror media. And today we're looking at Stranger Things Season 1. Stranger Things is a fun show that everyone has been obsessing over. In fact, real quick, um, new addition to my horror setup. I got a Eddie Funko Pop. So don't be surprised if you start seeing him in a bunch of the videos. For today's setup, I have this um, Nerf gun that is a Demi-Gorgon. Since this is um, season one, something we all know from this show, hey, go waffle. And of course, Stranger Things wouldn't be complete without an on the nose, straight up, but we're a nostalgic reference. It's a Stranger Things bookmark. So we hung up there and season two. Who I may cover season two sometime. Season three you have to wait to see. And season four is a long season, so we'll see with that. But this is from season Two. It's the baseball bat with the nails. <laughs> okay. That's all set up back there. Now, this show is a fun TV show. Everyone loves Stranger Things. That's why I'm only looking at season one for now. Season two, maybe. Season 3 would have to wait. And I have to stress this enough. You will really have to wait to see if I cover Stranger Things Season 4. Because it's the longest season by far. In fact, I was getting my footage for this season. It is supposed to be a short show. There is a lot. Of footage that I couldn't include, which I wanted to include, but so much it would have made this video so damn long. So sorry, but this is a short video. Only enough people can see this video at a time. Short video, let's keep it short. This entrance is already long. How many people die in season? One of Stranger Things, let's find out, and get to them kills. The episode begins with this scared dude getting yanked up and killed off screen. Okay, let's watch. Damn. We then meet these four best friends who, yeah, pretty damn decent and description of friends back in the 80s. Because, yeah, back in the 80s, I have heard that friends would cuss this much and they would actually fight a lot. Job with these kid actors. They argue about what the method to fight off the Demi Gorgon is. And seriously, just roll a protection spell. If you did that, it would happen. I mean, maybe it would happen. Because, yeah, we didn't start off the season with that kill, so who knows what could have happened. But what I'm upset about is that they had to kidnap Will. The nicest friend of them all is Will. And they kidnap Will? Okay. All have to leave so they don't finish the D&D &D game. Damn. But a funny moment does indeed ensue when... Just watch. Just watch. Stop 
We then have a pretty damn decent heart-to-heart -heart moment between Will and Mike. As Will admits that he got captured by the Demigorgon. Which then leads to one of the worst moments in Stranger Things history. And that's coming from me, who cried during Season 2. This is when Will gets captured by the actual Demi Gorgon, which I cried during the scene also, but not as hard as I did in season two. There's a reason why I cried during season two. Anyhow, Will gets captured, and it's a pretty damn insane moment. So let's just watch it for what it is. Okay. Will then grabs a gun, tries to fill it up with bullets, and stumbles. But this guy has Step and Pep, and what the hell is he doing with a gun in the first place? Who knows, but whatever. Shortly after, Mr. Will grabs his gun up and tries to aim, 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 and... Oh no, it was behind him, wasn't it? It was behind him. He gets captured and we get a child card to some pretty damn epic music. And it's a pretty dang great Title card. Don't expect a title card every episode, though. I'm not doing that. One title card per season. That's my rule. In fact, let's just finish this up with a great old title card. Duh. then um disappears we get the title hard and then warning lots of filler watch the actual show because i'm not getting every single clip that would be too long go watch the actual show before you watch this because this ain't to replace the show Go watch the show. A whole bunch of filler, which isn't important. And finally, after filler, after filler, after filler. I remember that I forgot to count a kill, so let's go back to that. The kill I forgot to count is Benny, who got shot in the head. Benny is this guy who took in um, Elle and took care of her as he was trying to find some people to come pick up Elle. And then, he gets killed. I forgot to count this, so, enjoy. We then get so much filler, which I can make a song of, in fact, I did. Skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. It's all nonsense, it's all filler. Oh, almost missed the death there. Skip ahead.
episodes and episodes of nonsense that you can skip through, we finally get to find out where Will is. They find out how to find Will, and Will, um, Hopper and Joyce go save Will. Um, Elle gets apprehended by G-Men, where she then pulls off some crazy effing shit. Watch. Hopper and Joyce then find Will and are able to save Will, which flashes back to when Hopper wasn't able to save his daughter. Oh no, I'm going to have to count a kid to death. Fine. After that, the episode ends with, um, Will washing his hands and coughing out a slug. People died. Let's find out and get to the numbers. Yeah, come on, it's a journey to the numbers. Come on, let's go to the numbers. Kills, I'm not doing a gender breakdown. So here's your pie chart. Yummy. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Sorry for no kill count trailer. But next week I will be looking at the guy who didn't like musicals. See you next time. Be good people.